Hello everyone, welcome to Chemazon Complete Chemistry. So in today's video, we are going to see question 6 of the stereochemistry question bank. So this is the monosaccharide sugar that is given in the chair conformation. And the question is, first we have to identify whether it is an alpha anomer or beta anomer. Okay, so first uh, we had already seen in the video, if you have not seen that, I will provide the link at the end of this video. Okay, so first, how do you find out the alpha or beta, whether uh, an anomer is alpha or beta? First step is you have to identify the anomeric carbon. Okay, first step is identify the anomeric carbon. Now, what is anomeric carbon? It is a carbon attached to, attached to two oxygen atoms. Okay, so let us identify the anomeric carbon first. In this structure, which carbon is the anomeric carbon? It is this carbon. You can see this carbon is attached to one oxygen is here and another oxygen is here. So, this is the anomeric carbon. Okay, so first step is done. Now, second step is at this anomeric carbon, you have to see the position of OH. Okay, if the OH is above the plane, Okay, above the plane, then it is beta anomer. And if the OH is below the plane, then it is alpha anomer. Okay, so how do you remember this? There is a trick you can see. If it is above A, then it is opposite B for beta. If it is B below the plane, OH is below the plane, then it will be alpha. Okay, so here you can see OH is what? OH is below the plane. Okay, it is below the plane, below the plane, so it will be alpha. So, this is which anomer? Alpha anomer. Okay, this is simple. Now, next thing is we have to identify whether it is D or L notation. Okay, so first what we have to do, we have to convert it into Fisher projection formula. Fisher formula. Now, how do you do that? The first step is what we can do is, so, if you, know, if you know how to convert Fisher projection formula to chair conformation or cyclic form, how do we do that? The first carbon is what? It is the aldehyde. Okay. First, we will start numbering from here at the anomeric carbon. Okay. Anomeric carbon is the new carbon that is formed in the cyclic chain, okay. in the cyclic compound. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Okay. So, similarly, we will draw here the open chain structure one first carbon is aldehyde okay one two three four five and last is ch2oh okay sixth carbon is ch2oh now how do you uh, write the groups okay in the chair conformation which is okay in the chair conformation or cyclic conformation the groups that are above the plane they are lift, written on the left and the groups that are below the plane, they are written on the right. So, in the cyclic structure, you go from above to below and in filling the groups, in writing the groups, you will write from left to right. What is the meaning of this? Let us see that now. Okay, first carbon is completed, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, second carbon if you see OH is what? Here above the plane there is hydrogen, below the plane there is OH. So, from top to bottom H, OH, here we will write from left to right, left H, OH will be on the right. Group that is above the plane that is hydrogen, we write on the left and OH is below the plane, we write on the Sorry, hydrogen we write on the left and OH is on the right. So, we write it. It is below the plane. So, we write on the right hand side. Now, third carbon, OH is above the plane. Below the plane, there is H. So, from top to above the plane to below the plane, OH, H. Here we will write OH on the left, H on the right. Similarly, fourth carbon here, OH is above the plane, H is below the plane. So, OH will write on the left, hydrogen will write on the right. And then, this I am changing the color, I will show you. 
okay fifth carbon okay generally the sugars are what they are d sugars and naturally occurring sugars are what they are d sugars okay what is the meaning of d sugar first what you have to do you have to identify the last chiral carbon now which are the chiral carbons here okay we start numbering from the aldehyde right so chiral carbons are this is 1 2 3 and 4 so this is the first chiral carbon this is the second this is the third and this is the fourth so at the last chiral carbon you have to check the position of oh that is at this yellow one okay at the last chiral carbon you have to see okay last chiral carbon you have to check if the oh is present on the left then it is l and if the OH is present on the right, then it is D notation. I will write this again here. At the last chiral carbon, which carbon? Last chiral carbon you have to check if the OH is on the left, then we write L for left, L for L notation. And if the OH is on the right, we write D notation. Okay, so this is how you identify D and L notation. So, here OH is on the right. So, it is D. So, it is alpha anomer and which notation? It is D notation. Okay, so in this way you identify alpha, beta or D or L notation. Okay, so what is the correct answer? Alpha and beta, I will circle the correct answer. The correct answer is what? The correct answer is alpha, it is an alpha anomer and D sugar. Okay, so these are the correct answers. And how you draw the cyclic structure? Uh, if I want to draw the cyclic structure, how will I draw? We start numbering from here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and sixth member will be what? Sixth member is going to be this oxygen lone pair okay oxygen is a sixth member so this oxygen will attack here and this will open up and that's how we get the hemiacetal okay this carbon will form hoh this will become oh that will be the anomeric carbon okay so the correct answer is alpha and d i hope you have understood the steps and i will also provide the link where we have discussed this in much detail thank you